Now, how about this? Here, here's one: not saving enough. Like, hey, hey, you you guys are making a a, a lot of money. Uh, you're not, but you're not. You should at least be maxing out your four hundred one k's. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but I can't because uh, we've got some college expenses. So, you know, it's uh, right now. It's I don't know if I want to do that. Well, you really, you really should be just you probably wouldn't miss it. So let's use that as an example. You're not saving enough. Right. So that's a, that's a great example. So in any, in any particular conversation, you know, the, the other person might say, oh, well, so we can, we can try to figure out how to do that. But let's assume there's some, there's some pushback or block to them wanting to do it. From the person's point of view, who's giving the advice, the key thing you need to understand is what is the nature of the resistance? And sometimes it's obvious, like, yeah, we're we're saving for college. We can't put money in this. And then it may just be a math problem of doing the math and saying, like, well, actually, here's how it would work out. But often it's not something that's quite so tangible. Sometimes, you know, someone might be thinking, well, you know, my I saw the model of my dad and my mom. They saved their whole lives and they were kind of miserable and they never spent money on themselves. And so... I'm just not going to make that mistake. Or my parents made the opposite mistake. They, uh, you know, they, I don't know, whatever it is. But there's some, there's some sort of psychological barrier to them doing it. And, and just explaining the math isn't going to address that. You know, if, for example, if someone's spending a lot of money, let's say, because it helps them feel less depressed when they buy new things, explaining to them that, they're, you know, they're spending too much isn't, isn't going to address the sort of root cause. Right. And so what we need to do as advisors or financial advisors or doctors or friends or parents or children, when we're engaging with folks is really to, it's not enough just to know that we're right on the numbers. We want to know the resistance and we want to understand the resistance, even if it makes no sense, like to us, like, so (laughs) even if, it's just wacky. It's it's important because if you're going to persuade someone to take your advice, they're going to have to overcome their resistance and you're going to have to help them. And you can't do that unless you have a clear understanding of what it is. 